tonight we are playing Sushi Go Party. So this is kind of the deluxe edition. There is the more basic Sushi Go. This is, this just has more playability. Um, quick game. We love it. Watch the kids review and they will show you in more detail all of the cards and all of the meals that you can do. Plus pass and play games. So during this time of COVID, probably not a great game to play. We are all in the same bubble. So we are safe. Not a good party game during the coronavirus. Okay, so each game has, each meal has eight different parts to it. Every game will have the nigiri. The kids will show you more in depth, but there's three different nigiris worth different points. Each game will also have a role. We are playing with Mackies. Each game will use, each meal will use three appetizers. We're using tempura, sashimi, and the dumplings. And you can see right on the bottom, makes it very easy how you will score each one. But the kids will get back into that later in the other video. Each meal also has two specials. We are using chopsticks and wasabi. And each meal has a dessert and we are using pudding. So this meal in the instruction booklet, this meal is called Sushi Go. It's the classic menu from the original game. So if you've played the original game, this menu will look familiar to you. Sushi, Sushi Go Party has eight different menus and you can create your own menu as well. As well as long as you have three appetizers. Oh, right here. Yeah. One roll, two specials, three appetizers, and a dessert. All right. So first thing you want to do is we're going to shuffle these. Dad's going to shuffle them very good. Minus the desserts, because I have to count out the desserts. For the desserts, First round, there's four of us. So we start with five desserts. So five desserts will get shuffled in. And take those ones. Round two, we will add three more. And round three, we will add two more desserts. The rest will go unused in a four player game. While he's doing that, you will make up your menu by putting these cards into the proper spot. Everybody can see what we're playing with. Oh, and the Mackie, yes, so you have to make sure that the Mackie, I think it's the only one, there might be another one. There's two different sides, depending on how many players you're playing with. So Lily just flip that over because we are only playing with four people. So mom's gonna be blue, Ryder's going to be red, red. Lily's going to be Turquoise. Dad's going to be. He's counting. He'll be orange. So he is dealing ten. No, there's four of us. Nine cards. Okay, so now that we have nine cards, the idea of the game is simple. Get as many points as you can. Try and win the game. How to get the points is written at the bottom. If you're unsure, it's also explained in the manual. Again, the kids will go over that in the review. So it's as simple as... Ready, writer? So I always count down. I go three, two, one, flip. So everybody flips over their card and passes their hand to the next <laughs> player. <coughs> Again, not a great game to play during the times of COVID. 
because of all the passing. Three, two, one, flip. So you flip, you pass. You can see in front of me, I laid down a second sashimi, so I just put it on top. It'll help me keep them organized and easier for counting later. Three, two, one, flip. Then you flip over your last card. Okay, so we'll just use my hand here as an example. So as you can see, tempura only gives you points if you have two together. So I only have one that is automatically garbage. I usually get rid of my cards, put them to the side if I don't have any points. So I got three, so that's 10 points. That's plus five, 15 points. Plus two is 17. Plus one is 18. We don't count the desserts till the end, we just put them to the side. So I got 18 points, moving ahead, 18. Ryder, what'd you get? 22. Sorry? 22. 22. Lily? 13. Thir mm, 13, what happened to you? Dad? 21. 21. I got the most Mackey. Can we see Dad's hand in this one? Yes, we can. Okay, so the Mackie, I didn't have any Mackie in my hand. Um, if you have the most, you get six points. If you have the second most, which I think Ryder got, uh, you get three points. Once that's done, and the cards to the dealer. Doesn't matter who deals because everybody kind of goes together. Again, during the second round, you add three desserts this time. Shuffle them in. So I have one dessert. Dad has one dessert that you can see. And you can't see Lily's, but she has two, res two desserts to the side there. So desserts are, uh, so they're counted differently. In pudding's case, whoever has the most puddings at the end of the three rounds gets six points. Whoever has the least, which right now would be Ryder because he's got zero, goes down six points, so minus six. So quite a penalty. So you better start running down. And if you're tied, you both go down minus six. Um, yeah, so again, nine cards. Three, two, one, flip. Three, two, one, flip. Okay, so you can see in front of me, I have uh, some chopsticks there. Chopsticks allow you to play two cards at once. And they work like this. You ready, Ryder? Okay, so I'm going to say chopsticks. I'm going to put one of these back in my hand and I'm going to play two from this hand. So three, two, one, flip. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Chopsticks. Three, two, one, flip. 
just remember you have to put those chopsticks back into your hand because otherwise the hands, there's different numbers per hand, so make sure you put it back in before you play your two. Three, two, one, flip. Three, two, one, flip. Three, two, one, flip. Oh, chopsticks. I should have known that was coming. I did that to myself. Okay, so you can see in front of me here, I have one tempura, that's nothing. So I'm gonna discard that one right away. Chopsticks are worth nothing. I do not even have second, I have the least amount of maki. I'm gonna get rid of that. So I got 10 points here. Dumplings, I got three points worth, so that's 13. Plus three is 16 for me. Cards back to the dealer. Third round, you add two dessert cards. Add everything back in. Shuffle, deal nine cards. So, if you can see, mom and dad still have one dessert card. Lily is in the lead with two dessert cards and Ryder ended up with one. So right now, if this were the end, Ryder, mom, and dad would go down six points because we're all, uh, we all have the least amount of puddings. So it's going to be a fight here for the puddings, like I'm thinking. You ready there, Ryder? Okay, three, two, one, flip. So you can just, when you flip that over, put it straight into your desserts because they will be counted after this round anyways. Three, two, one, flip. Our games aren't usually this quiet. I think everybody's just doesn't want to be heard on the on the video, so everybody's kind of quiet. Chopsticks. So, oh, Dad's using his chopsticks, so he'll pick up the chopstick and he put it back in his hand and he will lay down two, three, two, one, flip. chopsticks so I'm gonna get rid of it. So, so five for my tempura. One, one, two, two. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got eleven. Okay. <clears throat> so they're they're tied for Mackie. Okay. And no more or no second? Yes. So the kids are actually both tied for Mackie's. So they would both get six points and then there's no second place. That's how that works. So once they've counted that, then we'll go, we'll move on to desserts. Okay, 
Okay, so Ryder has lapped the board. That happens quite often. And the rest of us are good down there. So Mum and Lily will go ahead six. Ryder and Dad will go back six. So even with that, Ryder's still won. He won by a good by ten one. points. So that is how you play Sushi Go Party. Check it out. It's by Game Right. We love everything Game Right. All their games. We love them, hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great company. So check out Sushi Go Party and keep playing and have fun. Mm -hmm.